Where do you gauge how safe the Prime Minister is this morning? Um, well, he's, he's, he's safe, uh, clearly, for the time being. I mean, if they reach the 54 number of uh, letters to the uh, 1922 committee to, to precipitate a leadership election, I think he would still, uh, a leadership, uh, no confidence motion in the House, he would still win it because um, the Tories don't have an alternative. Um, much as they may dislike Boris Johnson's personal demeanour and what's been happening in number 10, uh, you really need to have a credible alternative leader before you would ignite, you know, the nuclear device of a, of a confidence motion. So uh, I, I don't think I don't think he's, he's, he's in any greater risk now from this. There are other matters which are far more important. I mean, the cost of living crisis, uh, despite uh, uh, the, the you know this remarkable um, grant system from the uh, government about uh, energy uh, costs. A cost of living crisis is is hit, going to hit Britain this winter. There will almost certainly be a recession. The Bank of uh, Bank of England has been asleep at the wheel and has allowed inflation to rise up to double figures. I don't think any government can sustain that, and we saw that in the 1970s. No political leader, I don't think, no prime minister can sustain that. So I think party gate will be quickly forgotten once we get into the real difficulties of an economic crisis. It's interesting because both of the detractors of the Prime Minister, but also the supporters of the Prime Minister, point to the crises that the world and indeed the United Kingdom are facing right now. The, the war in Europe, the double-digit inflation that we're soaring towards, not just in the United Kingdom, but in the United States of America and continental Europe as well. I wonder, do all of these crises work well for the Prime Minister, or to some extent could it be seen that they're working against him if he's not seen to be a particularly serious individual at the heart of number 10 might those sort of crises rally support against him well i i, I don't think i don't think you know um any political leader can uh, can survive the kind of economic disturbance and dislocation that we're about to experience I mean, there will almost certainly be a recession. And as I say, people's uh, living standards are going to decline markedly. And while the war in Ukraine has boosted his standing on the international stage, um, he's been able to claim legitimately that, you know, he got in there first with sending arms to, uh, to Zelensky, where the European Union appeared to be very flat-footed, at least initially. And it still is a problem. Clearly, there's a problem over... Uh, getting Germany to uh, cut off the umbilical lifeline to Vladimir Putin provided by the, the oil and gas. But I think um, it's, you know, I think we're just moving into a very different era. We have to think now in terms of the 1970s and the kinds of turmoil that we saw. I mean, there's going to be a lot of industrial unrest, clearly. You see that in Scotland, uh, where train drivers have managed to secure a very large payment from the Scottish government, who's just nationalised the, the rail service, the ScotRail up here, and, and, is, and is, you know, so determined to make it a success that it'll pay the train drivers practically anything they want. And that's going to lead to a knock-on effect throughout the public sector. You're going to see that in England as well. You're having uh, the worst general uh, rail strike this, um, this summer that, we, that, that we've seen since the 1970s. And of course, all other groups of workers are going to pile in there as well. So we're going to a very, very different era of politics, I think. And historians will look back at Partygate and they'll seem utterly amazed that uh, um, British politics and the media was transfixed for fully six months over such a trivial issue, an absurd issue, which affected nobody, was not an endanger. Uh, didn't endanger the lives of anybody um, and was also largely based on compromise.